Now I have another tool up here, um, or it's actually a combination of these tools. If I click this thing at the top, this bracket, it'll combine those tools and it gives me what is known as a smart tool. And depending where I'm at in my waveform, it'll switch to the different tools. So if I'm above the waveform line, I get the cursor. If I'm below it, I get my grabber. And if I'm towards the end, I get my trim tool where I can do this. Now, the other thing that it will do for me is if I go to the top right of any clip, it gives me a fade tool where I can pull in a fade where it would fade out. If I go to the beginning, if I go to the beginning of any clip, I can fade in to there. Or if I have a separation in a clip, let's say I did a punch or an edit, I can separate by hitting the letter B when I'm in keyboard focus. And then if I wanted to crossfade that, if I go down towards the bottom, then it gives me a crossfade tool where I can do that. So now I don't have to worry about where that clip separates, having it pop or make a noise or something like that. So that's what that does.